Hi YouTube, welcome to TCTN. My name is Dion. if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome. Today is another quick clip of the, a face of the day that I did using the Urban Decay Original Palette. And I'm starting to think all of the looks I'm doing with this end up looking the same, even though I'm <laughs> using at like five, six, seven, eight colors. And so anyway, I'll start from the beginning. Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. I used uh, uh, Naked as a transition color, Buck directly in the crease, and because I wanted to do something different with the lid, I used Gunmetal on my lid, and then I put Creep in my outer V and dragged that up into the crease very slightly, and I also used Buck on my lower lash line, and dark coarse on my lower lash line. I use Virgin as a brow highlight. And I have a mirror down here, so I'm looking at the words backwards. <laughs> and so I think that's all I used today on my lid. But it seems that, as I just said, where did I put the brush? All of the looks are looking the same. I did forget one thing. I wasn't really liking how gunmetal was looking on my lid and so I lightly went over it with, and I cannot read that backwards, toasted. So I did put toasted on top of gunmetal on my lid. So I don't know and I think maybe I'm just getting tired of this palette and I've been trying to use it, well not trying to, I have been using it when I've been doing eyeshadow looks lately to get use out of it but it seems like they're all kind of looking the same and I think the issue is for me, because of my complexion, from here to here, these colors really don't show up on me. So I really only have these shades to work with. I forgot one thing. I put, um, hmm, I, my, my brain just froze. I put half baked on my inner corner, like the first and a third of my lid. And so half baked and these four right here, they don't really show up on me. So I'm really just left with Buck, which is just like a, a generic transition color for me and these colors here and so I'm thinking that's why all the sh all of the looks that I'm doing are looking similar because I only really have two four six shadows to actually give me color and so I'm gonna keep using it I'm not ready to give it up yet and yes I'm sweating Ugh. so then I did my face I did which I didn't bring the milk um, hydro grip primer Cover Effects um, Power Play Foundation in G60. The Sephora Caramel Cream number 13. And I always forget what it's called. Bright Futures Gel Serum Concealer. Um, I set my face with the Lancome Long Time No Shine Setting Powder um, all over my face. And I used the Fenty Cashew on the perimeter of my face. I use Island Ting, the Fenty Sunstalker, also on the perimeter of my face. And then I went into the Makeup Geek <laughs> Bronze Baroness Face Palette. I use this shade here, which is upside down, as a highlight. <laughs> and I tried using this as a blush and it did not show up, so then I put this over top of it as a blush and I put this very lightly into the hollows of my cheeks and just feathered it upward. So I put it in and feathered it upward. And so that's what is on my face. Then um, I did my brows with um, the Tarte Brow Pencil. And this one is in Rich Brown, I believe. Yes, Rich Brown Brow Pencil. My uh, upper lash line, I used the Lorac Front of the Line. Am I going to say it right this time? <laughs> front of the Line Pro Eyeliner. And on my waterline, I used the Buxom Inside Eyeliner and Sapphire. And I'm still trying to find this, like on eBay and anywhere I can because they don't sell it anymore. And on my lips, I used, I have my reading glasses here, didn't even open them, open it. The Shishido, um, one of their glosses. This one is number 308 and it is Platinum Plum. It does dry down to a stain. I love it. And I have um, one, two, one more of these. And I set all of that before I do that. <laughs> Troublemaker Urban Decay Mascara, and then I sprayed my face with the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. And I am a sweater, especially like right here. 
And so even though I have on setting powder and setting spray, I do really sweat heavy in this area right here. But with the spray and the setting powder, when it dries down, it does dry back down into a semi-matte finish. And so I don't stay looking like a grease ball. So thank you for joining me in this video. And you will see me in the next one. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you choose to be a part of TCTN. Thank you. Bye.